Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's take a look at Cyberpunk 2077. So the latest update 2.0, they actually changed the minimum requirements. The storage area here, the minimum is 70 gig SSD now. Before on the 1.63 version or below, it only required a 70 gig hard disk. Um, SSD is recommended, but now uh, they don't have the recommendation anymore. It's just minimum 70 gig SSD. So I'm going to move my game from my Steam Deck to the SSD. So before it was installed on my SSD on my Steam Deck, now I'm going to move it to my SD card and see how it performs there. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're on my Steam Deck desktop mode. So let's check out the location of my current uh, Cyberpunk game. Uh, it's here non-steam uh 26451 all right let's go to that area first so uh i'm gonna go to home and then the hidden folder dot steam 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 apps compact data and then oh, i think it's the first one yep the first one here yeah. recently modified so i'm gonna go and get the save so c drive users steam user save game cd project red yeah here's my save game so i'm just going to copy this folder save games copy see i've here's my sd card i've already copied the whole game folder to my sd card just to save time so it's here so i'm going to add a non-steam game so library then add a game, add a non-Steam game, browse, and then I'm going to go to my removable devices. So this is my SD card, Cyberpunk, BIN, BIN, X64, and then Cyberpunk 27, 2077. Okay. Okay. So this .exe is running on my SD card. So let's just remember that. Okay, I'm going to create, I'm going to run it once and then I'm going to create the prefix folders. Oh, I forgot to change the Proton. Okay, so Proton Experimental. Okay, I'm going to run it once and then once I have the prefix folder, I'm going to copy over the save so I don't have to start all over again. So let it run once first. Just wait for it. Okay. I think it's good. It's a bit slow, but it's okay. Just wait for it. Okay. I think we're in. Okay, I'm just going to alternate F4. Just get out of it. And then close this. Go back to... Go back to my... Nope. Okay, so Steam steam uh, sorry dot steam 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 apps compact data and i think this is the latest one just now yeah i just created this one so prefix drive c users steam user save get okay, i'm going to paste here i'm going to paste the folder i just copied okay i'm just right into apply so i think i yeah i made this i copied the save over to the new one Okay, so let's run the game in gaming mode. So we have the overlay so we can see the frame rates and all that. See how it performs. Because uh, officially it says it, it recommends, no, actually it needs a 70 gig SSD. So I just put it onto an SD card for my Steam Deck and see how it runs. I think I'm at Night City, uh, my save. Just entered Night City. Okay, so let's run it. Let's run it, see if it works. Yeah, so if you're using a 64 gig model and you don't have an SSD, maybe this video might help you out. Like, if you're weary, if you can run it. Or it may not. I haven't done it, I haven't tried it before, so it might not work. It might like, be a really bad performance, I'm not sure. So let's see. I think it would run. I 
Okay, so continue. Hey everyone, feels great to have you back. So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Kujira or the Way? Okay. Apparently, the corp figured it wasn't safe in Japanese. Because I've, I've tried most but games, like the difference between uh, on my SD card and on SSD is really research. like I can't even real notice Honestly, the difference. So. I don't know what the fuss is about that this game can't run on SS uh, on an SD card. Okay. So okay, let me see the settings. Maybe it's a new game. Uh, maybe the settings aren't different. So graphics. Okay, it's on. It's on ultra. So let's change it back to Steam Deck. And then balance, yeah, that's good. Film grain, motion blur, I'm gonna turn it off. Yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna do. Apply. Back. Except there's no mention of me all right. Delta okay, so I'm in Night City. Just. Let's walk around and see if there's any hiccups. Not that I can see of right now, because um, I was here before and I was getting probably pretty much the same, like 30-ish to 40 on these settings, so yeah. Okay. Is that police car? Yeah. I get it. Okay. Alright. Stole the police car. Pretty cool. Yeah, so definitely playable. If you have a Steam Deck and you don't have an SSD, you just have an SD card, you can definitely play this on an SD card. I don't really see the difference. Like, I don't know what the fuss is about. Yeah, all right, let's, let's put out of it, let's put out of it, and, okay, so, this was the one I was running, this is the SD card one, yeah, and, you want to see the normal one, the one on my SSD, see the difference, yeah, let's show you that, I'll show you that as well, I won't do a side by side, but yeah, you can roughly know the difference. I don't really see a difference. So yeah, I think this game is pretty optimized. It's pretty good. If you're comparing to Starfield, like I think these two games really compare. They're really big, massive open worlds. Yeah, Cyberpunk is looking really good. At least it doesn't have all those load screens, right? This game did come out really bad, but yeah, it's really good now. Especially with the new update. But I think they fixed a lot of things and yeah, improved a lot of things. I haven't really played a lot of it. I haven't had much time. But yeah, okay, so here I am back in Night City. You can see like the frame rate is pretty much the same, like 30-ish, 40. Yeah, so really not much difference. What's my settings? I think it's the same. So, graphics. Yeah, it's... Okay, I think I need to... Okay, let me do it again. So, it's Steam Deck, and then Balance. Then I just turn off the Motion Blur. Yeah. Build a few, I can probably turn it down to 80. I think it's actually better. Okay. Oh my god. I'm not really liking the user interface for this. Apply. Okay. So here we are. Alright.
Oh my god, did he just go inside the car? Oh, that's a glitch. Is that a glitch? Yeah, that's a glitch. He just went inside the car. Is that... Is that... Yeah, that's not normal. Alright, but yeah, as you can see, I don't think there's any much difference. Can you spot any difference? If you can, let me know in the comments below. And I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.